Hi friends, uh, my name is Francisco Pedraza and um, today I want to let you know how do you benefit from your security systems. I mean, do you monetize security systems? I mean, remember we need, I mean, the main objective of our security systems is so we can keep normal. We can keep developing our jobs and performing in our activities normally. That's what we need. If something happens, then I'm going to have to take care of it. And that, that's going to make some delays on my plans and my chronograms. If I have some dates or some meetings with someone, then security is supposed to keep it normal. I mean, like in a bakery. What you need is to make more bread, to bake more goods so you can sell, you know? But then security is to keep connections safe and people doing their activities so they are safe. They are not uh, maybe facing risks that are not desirable in the company. Like in a kitchen, there's people with knives. Do you have gloves to protect them? Those are security measures that you need to structure to be preventive <clears throat> and get prepared. The quality of your prevention, how you gather your information for your uh, risk analysis and, and then your security surveys and then how you build your security systems, your physical security systems on the information security systems but then you need the quality of these processes to be preventive to see the the current actual risks that are required to pay attention to and take care of then with the quality of these two processes i'm going to get the uh, also the quality of the result the result is I am normal, I am performing as a professional and I make my job and I do my activities normally until something happens and then I'm going to have to react. And then how long is going to take that reaction and how effective is going to be that reaction? Because security systems are made to react, to notice an offense or an attack, let's say, early enough so we can react before the damage is made. Because if someone is going to break into your house to steal maybe the TV, when did you detect the attack when the guy was trying to open the door or maybe already in the living room disconnecting the tv because those time lapses are going to be different for the reaction did you notice when you got home and everything was just torn up and the tv was not there if you notice there, then the reaction is to call the police and then gather some evidence and see what, if you can figure from the evidence, if you have <clears throat> camera, the CCTV, then you can use those uh, measures that you prepare to make a proper reaction, to get maybe an insurance policies, indemnization or uh, maybe, a, um, you know, maybe you can get a, a refund if you read the small letter in the contracts when you get some services offered. You can maybe make a, a demand and get maybe some of the losses in the incident. You can get them refunded and maybe you, the loss is not going to be so big. But then beforehand, 
you would have to get a policy with an insurance company and then you would have to actually make an investment. Is it is security an investment or an expense? Well, as a security professional, I need to tell you it is an investment. The thing is that it does not return money. It just keeps the money already already possessed is in a safe place and it has safe processes and and reliable people in charge of the processes because let's say the quality of all the processes are going to rely on the people that is actually making the processes because how do you gather information do you ask your neighbors or do you go to reliable files and, and investigate from reliable sources to get your information or do you just look around and imagine what could happen and what's going on that's why this needs to be reliable that's why i invite you to see all my videos i have all many of these processes all this table is already explained in a previous video in the previous before this one and uh, i want to let you know i am uploading useful information that you can actually apply to improve your performances and you, to optimize your results in whatever you are doing if you are maybe a cook you should be preventive are you going to get cut are you going to get burned how do you use your tools so you are not maybe exposing yourself to a higher risk that you should so yeah please subscribe uh, i i want to make this information popular because more people have their own security systems structured and only not only your security systems but you need to coordinate every uh, i mean all the security systems in shopping malls in buildings they all have security systems that are working if you lost your cell phone that you you should know do they have a cameras and can we identify who got it and are we able to maybe recover it or is just that's why I need to pay attention what are the security systems that I am developing and performing within so I can make use of them. And uh, security is a, it's a tricky subject because you can only feel the benefits at the end. Like in a company, you will see the benefits of of the security performances in the balance when the profits are are okay and there's no inventory is missing and there's no maybe suggestions that are informing us from maybe let's make an example uh, like uh, a seller if i have a, a tv shop and I have I sell one hundred and twenty dollar TVs, and there is a seller that is selling those same TVs for one hundred and fifty dollars, and then he's registering the TVs just for the hundred twenty that they are worth, worth what, worth the money. So the the company is not losing money, but is going to be not competitive regarding the strategy of the company because the the pricings are going to be higher than they actually set them so is is going to be is going to be a loss for the company maybe not in in accountable money but in, in maybe in the in the the image that is giving to the public that's why we need to make these processes reliable and as i told you the people that actually take care of the actions are those who give the quality to every process 
That's why I need a, a selection process to see who is I am working with. Does he know what I need him to know? Does he know, has he done it before? Those things are always in a, in a selection process because the team I work with is what makes the, my, my team's processes reliable and then they make the results, let's say, desirable with no surprises like, oh, but here it said the inventory was 10 and now here we counted and it's just six. Where are the other four? Who got them? Who made the inventory? What time do we, do we have cameras who got access to the to the inventory and the materials storage? All those things are information that I need, and that's why I use security processes. That's why I need a signature for an inventory, because I need a responsible that actually made the counting and is going to have to argument any differences from the paper and the actual reality. So that's why we need to have some security measures so we can function normally. As long as we can keep our lives doing whatever we do and we can maybe project and look forward to how much money I am spending and making budgets and because every difference in a budget is, is going to have to be looked at and taken care of. I mean, if, if my measures are costing more than I budgeted, then what's going on? Where did I get the budget from? Where did I make the, where did I ask for the services offer and how am I getting different numbers from the actual payments and what I budgeted maybe before? So that's why all these security systems are important and that's how you monetize them. You, you make them valuable as long as you can keep normal and performing your activities normally and having no accidents and having no forgotten and maybe not for forgetting something important like the alarm in your car in a parking lot or you know those small things make the difference in the results at the end like in a company in the in the annual balance you're gonna find out oh we're losing money here in inventories how is that going on? And then you need to check all the security and control measures and all the responsibles to find out what is the mistake and then correct it and then make the whole security analysis completely again so you can get it. Like every, every time you make it, a change you need to review all the security systems so they can actually implement those changes and just make it work because usually security is more time for like checking bags and identifying people and identifying vehicles is more time for the public benefits that we offer to the to the market so yes it is uh, important information and you will monetize it as long as your normal is producing some benefits to you or maybe someone else because if that normal is just not doing anything you're not getting incomes you're not getting expenses maybe but do you need to eat? Do you need to live somewhere? 
I don't know if we pay taxes. All those things need to be taken into account. So the results are uh, me being a normal human being that actually studies and investigates and performs in some areas to give benefits to the society and companies and other types of societies and communities. And that's why understanding all these subjects is very useful so you can optimize your results, not only producing, uh, uh, I mean, adding value to all your processes, but also re reducing all the expenses that may, may not be necessary. That's like the, the main objective of our security system. So you can keep normal and you can achieve your goals and you can get to your objectives normally without um, incidents that could disrupt your path or your, your way to your desired future. Like, let's say threats are not always human, are not always criminal. There are hurricanes, there are earthquakes, there are threats that are not selective, they just take everyone. And there are some systems to actually prevent or anticipate those, like hurricanes in Florida, I know they are frequent, and they have some systems to actually anticipate and they, got, they, they have alarms and they have uh, emergency procedures and they inform them to the community. So the community is not, is not going to be in much, in, in higher trouble. So they are going to have to use paramedics and ambulances and maybe firefighters. I mean, the, the more informed is the community, the less catastrophic incidents we're going to have. If we know what we rely on and what our tools are and who is our team and how can we rely on our team to just perform, then the results are going to be better. Then the losses are going to be less. So it's better to inform the communities and everyone so yes, I invite you to share this video and subscribe to my channel so you can get all this information I am making to improve humanity as, as, a, as an entity. Like, a, like an individual needs to actually get some value like education, like uh, abilities and capabilities and then offer them to the public and then make the public better. Just give the benefits that the companies are supposed to be offering and not change any factors and details in the processes. Because we need quality in the processes, then we need to select the people we work with because every process is in somebody's responsibility. So, like, uh, as, as CCTV, like those camera systems, TV systems, then it's going to be useful only at the end or in the preventive, if I have the cameras that are being uh, washed 24 hours, then as soon as somebody is trying to climb the wall, then I'm going to notice it and I can react before the criminal is in the facility. Because once he's in, Maybe he made some damage, maybe he broke the, the guard or, or the door, maybe he broke a window. And 
those are damages that need to be repaired and those are being seen in our results. Those are going to be extra costs that we shouldn't have if the asset was protected before, before enough to make a reaction so he doesn't get the chance to actually make a damage. So yes, subscribe to my channel and see all the videos that I have already published in this channel. They have all information that is very useful and that can make you organize your procedures so you can give more quality to your processes and be prepared for anything you could be exposed to or maybe you could face some situations that you don't want to or maybe if you're not prepared you're going to be more vulnerable and then you're going to be more harmed and the damage you're going to receive is going to be higher so that's why you need to understand security and loss prevention and all your your values need to be protected enough so you have health so you have your you can be account accountable with your assets with your working team that's all those are all factors that give quality to my process that's why i need to take care of those giving quality of these concepts and and i invite you to see that my previous video that i explained how this time track develops for the threat and for a person that is naive and for a person that is preventive that is aware of the risk so yes please subscribe and give me a like and share these videos that i'm uploading for better performance i am a security pro i am a business administration professional but i have majored in loss prevention protection and all this all this information that is very useful at the end in the results you're not going to monetize security in the process but afterwards when you take counts then you're going to see the influence of all the processes that you implemented and the, that people is actually developing and making fu function as i told you the person that is behind the process the, the person that is watching the cameras you need to rely on him so he can actually detect and then he is going to have to communicate to a reaction force if you have some security system developed and implemented you have some security companies that can actually react for you that can attend maybe with weapons and maybe with tools that you may not have personally so that's why you need to see how much should i invest in my security so i can keep normal if normal is producing a lot of money if i have a high salary then i should have a safer way to get to work and a more secure place to eat lunch and everything Safer to be communicating with my family. So it's going to be relative to your normal. If you're a high productive, highly productive person, then you should have more security measures so you're not late, so you're not short in budget, so you're not maybe dressing bad so you're not exposed to risks that you have not prevented that you have not been aware of so please subscribe and watch all my videos i promise this is going to be useful information and don't worry on the editing of the videos worry on the content that i'm sharing that is very valuable thank you bye bye